Hey, partner. Buenos dias. You stop. This is Stick him up, cowboy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, real funny, Dutch. <laughs> oh, I thought so. So, here we are in a strange land of papists and rapists. America's very own Gamora. This yeah, city's all of the same to me. So, how you get on? I've been asking around about Mr. Bronte. From what I've heard, this establishment is our best lead, but I haven't had any joy in there so far. So, I should just give it a shot? I think so. Just keep it cool. You know me? I'll meet you back here, Anon. You got that. Now, how can I help? You look like a whiskey man. Sure. Dollar, please. For a whiskey? Oh, that's the real stuff. From Scotland. Okay. Here, have one for yourself. Well, thank you. So, mister, if I ask you a question, you ever hear of a fella by the name of Bronte? <laughs> Who's asking? Me. I'm asking. No, leave it, Fred. What do you mean, leave it? Look, I don't know what business you in, but leave it, Fred. You and your pal that was in here before. Bronte? Angelo Bronte? Mr. Big? There's an Italian spaghetti eating long streak of piss big. Yeah, he makes my skin crawl. I'm so squally a cocksucker. You know what I mean, friend? Where can I find him? Oh, well, I reckon you talk to them kids in the alley, they'll know I guess. Oh, and friend, you, you be careful now. Immigrants, they're not to be trusted. Sir. Good morning. If you can't treat people with respect, what's the point, I say? That's something. become quite the craze. So you just walk up to any man with a ring on his finger and turn it three times? Yes. And then after 24 men find any married person, male or female, wearing a wedding ring, turn that ring twice, and then the next man you shake hands with will become your husband. What nonsense. Don't take my word for it then. You lost, mister? You Hi there. Have you seen any kids around here? Oh, yeah. Just through that archway there. Lucky for him, he didn't have a ring on his finger. Hey. Hey, you got a cigarette, mister? Maybe. Huh? I'm looking for a fellow named Angelo Bronte. I tally. I know him. Everyone knows him. Where is he? We'll take you to him. What old cost? I reckon I can pay. Five dollars. Where's he live, New York? I'm an entrepreneur. If you don't want to pay, then I don't want to walk. Oh, man. Here. Come on. This 
us away. Let's go, mister. You coming, Cleet? Stay close. Easy to get lost around here. Come on, then. You new to the city, mister? Pretty much. Don't worry. No one knows it as good as me and Cleet. Is that right? Hope you won't need his services, but you got the doctor on the corner there. Nice enough, fella. That's Baird and Schreiber on the right there. Famous bookstore. Not that I'm much of a reader myself. Now over here's a real piece of art. That's the Church of the Holy Blessed Virgin, mister. Model on the famous church in Toulouse, which is in France. You been to Toulouse, mister? No. We're Catholics here, mister. Ain't Baptist or nothing. My mama said they used to burn Protestants and all, but, uh, we all friends now. Isn't that the most beautiful testament to God's love for us all? Bet they don't have nothing so fine where you come from, mister. Look at them fine steeples. Hey, hey, <laughs> you little pair of shits. Let's go. That fellow looks angry. I'll kill you, craven bastard. Yes, we did. He went around the corner there. Damn snitch! That's enough. Come here. Hey! Mom! Bye, mister. <laughs> You'll be fine. Hey, ma'am. Cucumbers are definitely a fruit. So sad. Since when? You seen Since in forever. good spirits, man. I read in the newspaper. Mm. Oh. Fellas, you seen a kid come through here? About 14, 15? Oh, yeah. He ran right through us. Ran around the corner there. <laughs> Morning, Tim. Morning, mister. talking about friend I ain't your friend but that kid is and he robbed from me now give me back my stuff and take me to Angelo Bronte Senor Bronte the kid was gonna show me before he robbed me <gasps> oh. come on you new in town mister come on mr. Bronte's got a lot of friends mister but I ain't never seen you we ain't friends you don't like no one, mister. Mr. Bronte, he's got fine hair. He got a beautiful house, and I am proud to work for him. He got 50 men, mister. Why are you gonna care a thing about you? I just wanna speak with him. <laughs> I'm sure you do, mister. You and them friends of yours been asking about him all over town. 
keeping mighty disrespected. Bunch of muddy Yankees in town asking questions. <laughs> well, you and your friend should pay him a visit, mister. He's got a big house on Flavian Street opposite the park. Hey, Yoko. Now, get out of here. Who by? Bunch of children. <laughs> I won't inquire anymore. But I found Mr. Bronte. Seems to be some Italian Mr. Big in town. Everybody knows him, but nobody wants to talk about him. Apparently lives in a big house on Flavian Street opposite the park. Huh. Good work. So what now? We go pay him a visit. I'll get John. You meet us there. Whatever it takes, we need to get that boy back. I cannot decide which I like less. The swamps or the city. Both are full of parasites, reptiles, and slime. We're a long way each to land we know, and far from real open country. Buenos dias, senor. Morning, dear. Hi there. 